Welcome to a work day with Sup Ricky 06. This is the glamorous life in Hollywood. Yes, driving trucks is kind of my thing. Um, I would like everyone to meet my cameraman Matt. Matt, turn around on you. Matt's Hello. gonna be helping me load up. People don't realize how much effort goes into music videos and little commercials, 30 second spots, but there's a lot of effort. So I'm gonna take you through the whole process and you guys can now understand what it is exactly that I do and why I disappear for weeks at a time. The first, uh, the first day of a job for me, usually because I drive trucks, is a pickup day. Basically load up all the equipment, put it in the back of the truck, and make sure that everything's organized and ready to go for the shoot day. The first pickup I like to do is production, because I work for production. All the chairs, the garbage cans, it's really, it's again, glamorous. So today we're going to Sky Rentals, and then we have all our uh, chairs. You can go ahead and look at like, it's all the director's chairs and stuff like that. It's really exciting, so we're gonna load up now. We just got done loading the truck. Here's all the fancy equipment. It's not really that fancy, I suppose, but uh, we're gonna head on to the next uh, stop. I'm not sure which what it is, uh, but we're gonna work it out. So we're gonna go, let's go. So we're on our way to a place called Photocam where you get like the cans for the film and you get like the, the camera reports and stuff like that. So we're gonna go pass by Warner Brothers Studio. No, this is actually Universal Studios. I want you to take a look at this. Look at all of the, you know, you've been hearing about the strikes and stuff like that. Like, this is this is what it looks like. They just walk back and forth in front of the studios. You honk their home. Yeah, and they get really excited. So that's what it looks like. And it's actually, a lot of places aren't filming episodes for shows anymore because they don't have any writers for it. So. What we're coming up on right now is uh, Warner Brothers Studios. There's uh, some of your favorite shows right there. We're just passing Nip Tuck, Two and a Half Men, I guess, Without a Trace, Cold Case, Old Christine. And then here's some more of the picketers. Just... Yeah, they hate me though because I'm working. So I'm going to pick up some cans, you know, that the film goes in. This is what I'm talking about here. And uh, we get we get blank ones so that we can put uh, the film in it. And uh, usually I can find some some film from like from shows that you're familiar with. So let's uh let's look let's look for some. Looks like we got Scrubs, all you football fans, Friday Night Lights. Now we're at a place called J L Fisher. Now if you see any of those those scenes in movies where like they kind of real smooth come in like that, well. They use a dolly, and I'll show you what that is later. A dolly and tracks make it real smooth when they come in, and that's what you pick up here. So a lot has happened within the last half hour or so. Uh, we got to the dolly place, you know, J.L. Fisher, and of course the order's not ready yet. That's that's a lot of the waiting around. It's definitely a hurry up and wait business, you know. We get over there and nothing's ready. So we're gonna go pick up film, you know, that we're going to shoot stuff on, and we're gonna go get something to eat. And I'm no longer driving. Matt over here is driving because I'm an idiot. I forgot my wallet. So, yeah, that's it. So we went to the film place. Film place is not ready. So, now we're eating. And we get to drive downtown. And you get to come with us. Perverts. 